Transcription is the formation of R mRNA. All right, here we have some DNA with the helicase in the light blue. But for the RNA synthesis, we only need one strand. And we'll use the RNA polymerase 2, which is the red circle, which goes from 3 to 5 prime end and creates um, matching base pairs for from the DNA strand as seen here. Right. <laughs> The little red is going to be the, well, RNA. And we'll, in a larger scale, cat the it, base pairs, three to five. Yeah, it's G, U, A, or GUA. <laughs> and the unique thing is uracil is for RNA because it's a universal base pair, and thymine is for DNA. So the big difference is H3C and H. And here we go. Come back here, and we'll now have pre-mRNA is created, which with the codons, a set of three pairs or at bases, are either called introns or exons. And exons are the things you want to keep, not like the gas station. <laughs> and introns are things you want to throw away. And here's some introns, exons, and that's a spliceosome, which is responsible for removing the introns. It's kind of like a little bouncer at a party or whatever. It's going to tell those introns, be like, hey, you got to get out with a big red X. So erase those real quick. And once all those introns are gone, those left with exons, but not all the exons are needed for a specified protein. So we'll pull a new, a, uh, splice zones, the one with the triangle glasses here. We'll tell the ones that not needed to get out with that big red X. <laughs> it's only left with like only a few exons needed for the protein, which is a lot more than just two. Here we have the two Come. codons again. Yeah, which is mRNA. And so it has a poly A tail, like a horse. <laughs> and then it has a cap. And the cap is responsible for keeping them separate and also binding two mRNA strains together. And drawing a horse, because, you know, I can. And kind of looks like a. Reminds me of a horse since it has a cap and tail. <laughs> but yeah, we'll erase that because it's not needed. But once the mRNA is all done, it'll exit the nucleus because it's small enough to go start translation of the mRNA. Ends. Ooh.